Hey everyone, I'm Alex Roy, your trusted Portland realtor. I just wanted to take a pause from doing some of my winter garden prep to respond to a question that I'm getting a lot from buyers right now, and that is, is now a good time to buy a home? And I wanna you know, start by saying what I would tell anyone when it comes to buying and selling, and certainly any investment advisor would be saying, look, don't try to game the market. Don't try to time it and figure out the right time to buy and the right time to sell, you know, of buying low and selling high. If is it a right time to buy for you? Only you can answer that question if it is the right circumstances in your life to make that move, sell the home or make that purchase. But what I don't want people thinking is that now simply because interest rates are higher, now is an absolute not good time to buy. That's simply not true. And to show that point, and I'm going to be going into a lot more detail in it in a couple of videos that I'm going to be putting out over the next month. I want to show you a graphic that was just sent to me by one of my favorite lenders, Steph Noble of Cross Country Mortgage. Wonderful lender, knows, knows lots about uh, first time home buyer programs. And this graphic that she just sh uh, shared shows a great example between a scenario of purchasing right now at this time and this time last year. As you'll see up on uh, the graphic, we've got you know, a house of similar price. Both are listed for 500,000, one in 2021, one listed now in 2022. Back this time last year, it is very conceivable if that was a decent house that you could be paying over $100,000 over a list price just to be able to get your offer accepted. Lots of multiple offer situations and it, the market was very competitive. This year, you could most certainly go out, find a $500,000 house and put in an offer for that amount and get that offer accepted. So much better right off the bat where you are not paying a super premium on the house that you are purchasing at this time. But let's get into the numbers just a little bit more. Um, in that first scenario, looking at 2021, you're going 100,000 over list price. You've got the great interest rate of 3.25%. And that means that you're only paying uh, $130,000 of interest. You're keeping your monthly payments down because you've brought a full 20% to the table. So you did have to bring 166,000 out of pocket for your down payment and your closing costs at the end. In the end, that meant that you are paying in interest and that cash that you had to pay up front, $401,000 on that first 10 years of owning that home. That's the cash out. In the other scenario, in the second scenario, you'd think just by the wisdom of it being a far higher interest rate that you're purchasing with in this scenario, 6.125%, that that 10 year, the amount that you're you know, out of pocket on that first 10 years would be much more, but not so. Because in this scenario, right off the bat, you're paying less for the same house, less for it than you would have a year ago up front, and then if you were to uh, simply not put as much money down up front uh, for the down payment, only 10%, uh, making it 66,000 that you need to bring at closing for down payment and closing costs. Yes, you are gonna pay a mortgage insurance premium monthly until you get up to 20% equity in the home and refinance, um, which means that your monthly payments are going to be more because of that and because of the interest rate. And then total interest over the life of the loan is $255,000. But when you add that up with the cash that you had to pay out at the start, plus the uh, uh, interest over those 10 years, you're at actually a little bit less than you were in the first scenario. You are only $395,000 cash out of pocket on the first 10 years. And that works out well for a person that's gonna be purchasing a home and not thinking about selling it right away in two, three, four years time, if you're gonna be in that home for at least more than five years and ideally up to 10 years, it absolutely can work out just as good for you to be purchasing that same home now as it would have been a year ago in a highly competitive market where you would have had to bid up that house quite a bit and pay a lot more over uh, the list price. And one other thing that we absolutely have to consider, even though you could be paying a higher interest rate now, or you would be paying a higher, higher interest rate now if you're getting a mortgage at this time, it's certainly above 6%. We have consistently seen after the last five reception, uh, recessions, the interest rate drop. 
And so it is very possible, probable, and reasonable for one to expect that if you were to get a mortgage now above 6%, uh, certainly above 6.5%, uh, then in a couple of years time, there could be an opportunity to refinance down to a lower interest rate. And if you're able to do that, that vastly improves that number there on the total cash out of pocket on 10 years uh, for this, uh, the second scenario of 2022. It's a lot of information, it's a lot of details, but let this be your takeaway, that there are avenues, roads that you can take to purchase a home right now and still do just as good as a person who purchased a home at this time last year. And there are a lot of amazing, wonderful first time home buyer programs out there. If you wanna know more about these, I've got some great lenders, including the one I mentioned today, Steph Noble, who are uh, ready to help you first time home buyers explore the various programs that are out there and certainly follow, uh, continue following my Facebook or YouTube channel because I'm gonna have a video coming out uh, within the next couple of weeks that outline a bunch of the first time home buyer programs and tips and strategies for first time home buyers. Now is the time, if you're thinking about purchasing any time in the next year, now is the time to start thinking about it Give me a call, text or email. Let me get you set up on an automated home search so you can keep an eye on the houses that are on the market. Watch as home prices fall. They are starting to fall a bit. Keep an eye on how fast they are moving. And so when it's time that we go start looking at homes, we're gonna go house shopping. You're well aware of what the market situation is. I'm here to answer any questions you have anytime. Give me a call, text or email. I'm Alex Roy, your trusted realtor in Portland.